Hello everyone, thank you very much for watching today. Today is Monday the 29th and today we're talking about are you getting better or are you getting worse? Are you getting better or are you getting worse? Now, the business, realtors, ups and downs, deals happen, deals fall through, you have good months, you have not as good months, you have might even have bad months. It's a roller coaster, it's a roller coaster, this business. But things to keep in mind, there's six things that you should always be checking often, once a month, once a quarter, or evaluate yourself on these six things, six topics, and, and then really have that honest conversation with yourself, am I getting better or worse in these areas? So here are those six things. If you wanna write them down, grab a pencil or paper or write them on your phone. <laughs> so, uh, one is, are you getting better or worse with your purpose and your why? Why you do what you do every day? Or is it getting better? Like, is that is that that purpose, that why? Is it it's still strong, as strong as it ever is? Is it getting stronger? Why you want to work so hard to accomplish what you want to accomplish? What's your why? Is it you? Is it your family? Is it your retirement? Your children? What is it? What's your purpose for getting up in it every morning? And what's your why of why you're doing what you do every day? So is it getting better and stronger? Or, or is it kind of getting, because sometimes those people that are beat down and quit, not just real estate and life or what quit things, is that just that, that purpose of why they started it is just not getting better. Hopefully that makes sense too. Your business plan and your schedule. Your business plan and your schedule, is that getting better? Is your schedule getting better? Are you being, being more uh, proactive with putting things in your schedule and filling up that white space in your schedule and your business plan of what you want to accomplish and what you want to do? It's a, it's a, your business plan is the blueprint of what you're doing. And you're, are you building on that? Are you keeping it strong? Is, are, is you putting that blueprint? Are you doing the things you need to do to make sure the whole thing that you're building, that business that you're building is strong? Number three, your mindset. What are you putting in? Is it getting better? Are you get having, uh, being more positive, being more, uh, uh, your mindset of what you want every day? Are you happy at the end of the day? Are you satisfied at the end of the day? Not that, you got everything you wanted to get, but did you do everything you needed to do? How is your mindset about yourself? Not the market. Who cares about what the market is and what the news has to say? Those are things out of your control. But are you? how is your mindset about yourself and what you're doing? Number four, your discipline and accountability. Are you being disciplined with the things you need to be disciplined? Are you making yourself accountable for what you are doing or not doing so is that getting better is are you being more disciplined are you making yourself more accountable five your skill sets are they getting better or worse are you practicing are you going over new scripts are you watching more uh taking more classes century 21 agents we have a whole university of classes over 300 classes and programs have you taken a class on anything how to do a better open house how to negotiate how to do, uh, beef up your listing presentation. What are your skill sets in this business? Uh, even the best of the best are still watching what other people are doing uh, and seeing what works and doesn't work for other people. So what? how are your skill sets over the last month, couple months, year? When are you reevaluating? Am my skills getting better? And six, and last is systems and strategies. So your systems of keeping things organized, your systems of your routines and your systems of follow-up and your systems of keeping your clients on task when you have active transactions, your systems and uh, of when you have a listing of following up and asking for uh, feedback and making sure your listings are being marketed the way they should be. What are those systems and strategies? What are your future strategies? What's your strategy to get to the next level? What's your strategy to do more prospecting? What's your strategy to win the next listing appointment? What, what kind of strategies do you, business strategies do you have 
for the future because every business that's trying to increase their business to get better have a strategy to do that what's your strategy what are you doing or thinking about doing what's your strategy to get better you can't just get better by accident you have to have a strategy which way you're going to you can put more time in you're going to get up earlier you're going to get out of the house more are you going to uh, join a networking group are you going to do volunteer more and be in front of people more what's your strategy to get better so those are the six things that I've written down many years ago and and I know I do this myself uh, often to make sure I have all of these things almost every day I don't even have to read the this list I just know it just kind of goes through my head on every day and of course am I perfect no I have those days that are not as productive or I don't feel like I did everything. I have those months or those quarters that I'm like, wow, did I do everything? You know, am I getting better with all of these or did I slack off on some of these? Are you going to be perfect with everything? No, but at least you know at the end of a month or a quarter or a year, did you get good and better? And it's not always the amount of business because that could affect you know that's ups and downs but are you doing the right things you know what i mean you know it's kind of like you know if you know you're doing the right things sometimes after at the end of a month end of a quarter end of the year you're still at the same level but you know it might just you're plant you planted the seeds uh of business and you did all of that and then all of a sudden the next month quarter year it just off the chart great because you planted all the seeds and you did all of that work. That happens in this business. It's not like you're going out and selling things that someone needs every day. You're planting the seeds for the future. And then when you consistently do this, then every year it just gets a little bit better. So think about those things. Are you getting better or worse in any of these categories? So that's it for today. Remember, reach out, call, text, email me anytime. I'll put you on my schedule. So have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.